welcome back to video number two of the 10 part series of how to become a marine biologist. Video number two, no, but two. Video number two is all about school. Kids, I know, you're like, what? Isn't there a way to become a marine biologist without any school? No, not really. I mean, maybe, but let's say no for now. Okay, and then of course the exceptions to the rule we can talk about in the comments. Pretty much every marine biologist or every marine scientist that you'll meet has some kind of degree. And nowadays, most of them have master's degrees. I do not have my master's degree. I, I'm thinking about getting it, but ultimately, at least a bachelor's degree is a really important thing to go and get. For some of you, you're thinking, great, I love school, I wanna stay in it, so I was gonna do that anyway, so thanks for the tip, Mel. Give me something I didn't know. For those of you who are saying, oh, really? I was really hoping that you were gonna give me a tip saying like, this is how you can avoid getting going to school. Unfortunately, I really can't do that. I would highly encourage you to continue in school. Keep working at those books. There's ways of making school more applicable and therefore more interesting and therefore more relevant and therefore it will stick. And that is when you have something in mind that you are going to be applying your school to. So for example, when I was going through high school, I met an oceanographer and instantly I was like, oh, that's what I want to be. I want to be an oceanographer. I didn't know that there was a job named oceanographer. I still didn't even really know what it meant, even as I was going driving towards it throughout my high school career. But I knew I wanted to be one. I was like, that sounds interesting. I want to be able to study the ocean and work and live on it. Do you guys have guidance counselors nowadays? I hope so. Mine was really awesome. I had an amazing guidance counselor named Mr. Wongwell, and he was the one who I sat down with and I said, I want to, I found, I met this oceanographer. I want to be like him. How do I go to school for marine biology? And so back then there was no internet. Guys, I can't even believe I'm admitting this. I'm not even that old. Anyway, and so <laughs> we opened up the book and it was literally like oceanography was only in one place in all of the Canadian universities. And it was at Memorial University of Newfoundland. And I was like, that's it. That's where I'm going. And that's where I went. That day was a determining factor of where I was headed. And because he took the time to be like, that's Instead of saying, like, that's a crazy idea, or Mel, like, you live in Ontario, there's no ocean nearby anywhere, why would you want to be a marine biologist? Instead, he was like, okay, let, let's look up where you can find to go to oceanography school. That was a very important moment for me, I think, because it validated that I wasn't so crazy and that I could potentially do it. But what he did tell me in that meeting was that I had to pull up my socks and I had to actually work and study much harder than I currently was and bring my grades up in order to get into that school. And so I did. And that's where like that Venn diagram comes in. If you kind of know where you're headed, if you kind of get an understanding of those, you know, where your interests overlap, then it makes it easier for you to understand what kind of uh, path you want to take and what's, what subjects you'll need in order to achieve that particular goal. I can tell you that meeting that oceanographer on that beach was life-changing for me. No word of a lie. It was my, like my first aha moment, maybe ever. For you, I'm hoping that you too find that direction that allows you to also like dive right in and be like, this is it. This is worth studying. This is worth the effort. This is worth the time. Okay. Other than school, there's important places to learn. And that is through, frankly, social media right here. Hello. Hi. YouTubers. There are some really interesting YouTubers who are doing amazing stuff about marine biology and of course some very important organizations like National Geographic, Canadian Geographic, BBC Earth has an amazing series about all sorts of different things around science and technology. Even in Instagram. Type in hashtag ocean, type in hashtag ocean science, hashtag, <laughs> and hashtag marine biology and there will be lots of interesting people and organizations that are doing important stuff that you could follow along with and increase your knowledge. Follow Instagrammers, follow YouTubers. One other thing I do is I have a Google alert. Do you guys use Google alerts? Use Google alerts. They're really great. Type in anything you're interested in. So if it's uh, ocean plus dance, or if it's uh, ocean underwater noise, or if it's ocean plus a VR. Set up a Google alert so that you don't have to go out and research all the time what's going on in the world. You can actually have those emails delivered to you and they will search through the news and you'll get all that information in your inbox once a week or once a day, whatever you choose. It can be as specific or as, as broad as you like and that way it kind of just gives you a nice amount of information about what's going on in the world. One other key tip is learning about ocean literacy. Ocean literacy is pretty much the framework that says, are you literate in the ocean? Sort of like, are you a good reader? It's ultimately like, do you know the basics about the ocean? Uh, I'm gonna link the ocean literacy website below and that's a great way to get started. Okay, so that's pretty much wrapping up video number two, all about going back to school and whether that be staying in school, selecting your courses to be able to get into the type of marine biology that you're, that you're interested in, as well as using other resources, whether they be online or in your school or mentors or people around you, definitely, 
keep up your education and it's a lifelong thing. Stay in school, folks. Kiddos. All right, talk to you next time.